Hello everyone, I'm Yamino, the artist of Sister Claire. What was that? The that ice maker. <laughs> was that you or was that the cat? Something just went... Oh, it was the, the ice maker. Yeah, okay, sorry. You want to try that again? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I'm Yamino, you, you know me. <laughs> I'm joined today by... The one, the only, the incredible, the indelible, Ash Barnes. I write the missing moments and I help Eleanor write the comic. We are also joined tonight by... Sarah, ex-cinnamon roll. Ex-cinnamon roll? Yeah, we went on the loose ash. (laughs) What have you done to lose your icing, Sarah? (laughs) Gone stale. (laughs) And David, current cinnamon roll. (laughs) Oh, David, stop your icing. King of all cinnamon rolls. (laughs) Honey bun master. (laughs) I was just about to take a sip of water. That was almost a disaster right there. (laughs) This is a disaster. Oh no, Karen Skittles says, did you know I lost my bathroom? How? What? Oh man. How could you lose a whole bathroom? Do you Where'd like, you put it? Did it <laughs> help you look? Did it like fall off your house? Or <laughs> is it is the plumbing bad or something? Did someone else call dibs on the toilet for life? Did Gabrielle visit? <laughs> we told her! <laughs> did she clog it again? <laughs> Bubble boy backup. <laughs> <laughs> Please call extension 333. Oh, I forgot to say in the recording, but I'm going to be doing the tea tin for Ozzy. Uh, Karen Skillview says it's water damage. Oh, that's uh, oh, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I hope... I hope that situation is resolved soon. Yeah, so water damage, it was totally Gabby. It was Gabby. Mm-hmm. Oh. Ah, Snowy says congrats. I'm assuming for hitting the 1,000 on Patreon. Thank Ooh. you. Thank you, darling. And thank you to everyone who helped us hit it. Oh. Yes. Thank you always, everyone, for your support. I've already been working on a lot of uh, pages in advance so that we can uh, start the double update soon. Yes. I believe we, Elena and I were talking about when to start them. We have a couple of conventions coming up. We have Kineticon next weekend. And we have Otakon at the very end of July. We were thinking of starting the new up double updates on August 1st. Or at least the first week of August. Maybe not the exact first, but whenever the first comic page updates in August. Let me look at a calendar real quick. <laughs> Alright, 1st of August is on a Saturday. So August, it would be August 3rd, then. Snowy's asking, why not July? Why not July? Like I just said, we have a couple of conventions coming up, and we don't want Elena to immediately run out of her buffer, because, like, she's not going to be able to work as much on pages while we have the, while we have the conventions. Um, her time would be best used trying instead to build up the buffer so when the double updates start, they can proceed as long as possible without her uh, running the well dry. Mm -hmm. It also gives me time to write a lot of missing moments in advance. And that's not to say that y'all wouldn't get to see some content early. I could do some of those as live writes. Make your suggestions, folks. (laughs) What kind of cup would Ozzy have? Maybe like a wooden cup? Uh, uh, or stone. Um, It would actually probably be like pottery that had decorative uh, designs on it. mm -hmm. Like if I'm thinking of her outfit. Yeah, but I mean, then again, it's not... They've lived in the capital for several years too, so it could just be your typical Nobody has a typical cup for this to be. I don't know yet. I 
have to make things complicated, Ash. Snowy asked, what day of the week will the second update be? When did we, um, we had talked about? Well, Friday. Friday. Prob we, we will probably have the comic updating on Mondays and Fridays with the missing moments in the middle as the sandwich. Isn't Ozzy so cute? Ozzy is so cute. Ozzy's precious. Aww. I love her. I've only drawn her with her hair up or like in a, like a pulled back mm -hmm. sort of a ponytail one time. I like it was it when she was first while, introduced. Actually. Yeah. After that, I had it always be down. Mm -hmm. That's because uh, I think when she goes into werewolf form, it kind of <laughs> like yeah. curves out of the thing. But it's cute in that ponytail thing, too. Ah, uh, Joe mm -hmm. made a suggestion for Azzy's mug. Oh, that is a good suggestion. I don't know what about that. Oh, that Ooh, is cute. That's, that's a good look. That's very odd. Dude. It looks a little bit like a honeypot. I like it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I just stabbed myself in poop. Oh, Happen don't do that. That's all you get to. <laughs> Laura, do I see you writing fanfic? <laughs> Link it as soon as it's done. Yeah. I read your beach one. It's so good. I'm going to reblog it very soon with commentary. I always <laughs> like to let it sink in for a while before I revisit. Before I post my thoughts, because if I posted my thoughts immediately after reading anything, it would just be like inarticulate screeching. Pterodactyl <laughs> <laughs> noises. Seal noises. Yeah. Yeah. Nalem says, "I gotta draw some Sister Claire stuff." Is that Nalem? That the that sounds very familiar. Al uh, Melissa Albino? That, that name him? <gasps> yes, it's you. <gasps> Hello. 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 Say hi to Cosmo for me. Can you show me that mug again? Yes. Is it still on your screen? <gasps> okay, I think I got it. Yeah. Good suggestion, Joe. Mm -hmm. Good one. Good one. Hmm. Are you coming to Kineticon again this year? Aw, she's Aww. not coming this year. Is anyone in the chat going to be at Kineticon? Or we need to update theory. that on the site. Actually, you could do that. I can? Yeah. Oh. If you log into Comic Control, mm -hmm. one of the things on the side is conventions and or something like that, and you can edit it to delete the ones that we've already been to and put in. Okay, I could try. Oh, uh, Sebring says, whose voice belongs to who, so I can picture the faces here. I'm Yamino. And I'm Ash. I'm Sarah. I'm also Lemon Lamb in the chat. And I'm David, uh, <laughs> and then this brother. <laughs> Do we want to turn on your camera really quick and show ourselves? I was going to say I could link to cute pictures of us that we took today. That too. We look so cute in those pictures. We look so freaking cute. <laughs> Hang on, let me not just scroll through all of Tumblr. <laughs> I'll find it on my own blog. So this is what Ash looks like. She's a blue blob. Blob? <laughs> in the background of in this a, picture. In a oh. really good pose picture. I oh. mean blob in the best show, way. Show <laughs> the other really cute picture. Wow, like taking cute. forever to load. I was like, what? <laughs> blob? Part of you. <laughs> there she the is. is right there. Look at her. There's, so don't worry, there's a better picture of you in the photo set. There's this is also Ash. Today. Look at Ash. Wow. Ash and the turtle. I'm in the middle. And there's Sarah, and there's David. David's face is so excellent. I love David's it's expression. Priceless. In this picture. It's the best thing about that picture. Winkle's having a, a moment over She's there. Not doing I heard too well. I heard an altercation. <laughs> Cross X Hunter asks Do you ever think of dropping the Yamino handle? 
No, why would I do that? Yamino's a great name. It's classic. And it's... it's I've set. already taken it on, like, every social media site, so mm-hmm. no weeaboos can snag it from me. <laughs> Apparently there's some people who tried to go by the name Yamino at various conventions, like cosplayers and stuff, and they've contacted me to be like, everybody always thinks I'm you! And I'm like, pick a better name. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's it's who I am. I, I don't want to change that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, Lara asked oh I had a question Ash Yamino did you ever make yourselves cry while making Sister Claire yes yeah. <laughs> we, I can't even count how many times we've been in the car and like had an idea or talked about something and like oh that's so sad and just started crying about it yeah I've been like that's so sad a couple oh. times you've been like telling me about things you've been just really fighting him back yeah it's like that's so sad let's do it <laughs> <laughs> a couple of people are asking about where the name Yamino came from oh. don't be embarrassed just, just I've answered it in a previous video get the, um, get the brief version the brief version is it was the name of an OC I made for Sailor Moon, OC meaning original character, back in uh, 2000, 2001? A long time ago. A long time ago. <laughs> and it used to be what? Yami no Tenshi? Don't know. <laughs> this is the brief version. <laughs> Sailor Nabu. <laughs> Yeah, if you just if you watch older videos that we've posted on YouTube, I I show pictures of said OC and stuff. It's better left unsaid. Really. Hunter said, "I mean, on your published work where you introduce yourself as Elena Yamino Barberich, dropping it there, I don't really see so many people know me as Yamino. A lot of people are still confused yeah. if I go by Elena. I really, I really don't think it would do her much good to drop it. Like." It's not like it's unprofessional. Or that anything. is her professional front that she's had for years. Mm-hmm. Yeah, years. that's like that's my online handle that most people know me by. Mm-hmm. Laura asked if we saw the follow up post she made a bit after writing the Beach AU. I don't know if I saw that or not, Laura. Can you link to it? I would like to see it. Maybe I have. Maybe I don't remember. I haven't been able to look at Tumblr very much lately. Snowy asks, Yamino, can you guys do a storyboard thing for your Sister Claire page or for a portion of a chapter? That's what the comic pretty much is. It's kind of like mm-hmm. a storyboard. Huh. Um, I think maybe Snowy is meaning, can we like draw thumbnails for the comic live? And maybe, is that what you're asking? Hmm. Like your, not your rough sketch yeah. for a few pages. I try to avoid doing that because I feel like it discourages people from checking the site when the comic goes up, mm-hmm. if I spoil things. Mm-hmm. And given that people clicking on the site when things update is how we make our income from it, I don't. I try to avoid dissuading people. <laughs> uh, Sebring asked, what are your <clears throat> professions? And Hunter... Uh, Cossack Center. Ash works at a zoo or something. <laughs> yeah, you, do, you basically do with all your animals, Ash. I, uh, I do not work at a zoo unless you want to call a public university Unless you consider college students to be animals, animals. which they are. <laughs> Some <laughs> mean girls. Get out of here. <laughs> Sometimes they, they do act a little bit feral, but you know, most of the time they're hey, perfectly pleasant. there was a student who tried to attack you in your office one time. Yeah, she tried to punch me in the face, but you know, she missed. It was all fine. Let's not let's not get into that. Um, but no, I uh, I I work at a, a public university. Uh, Sarah is an absolutely excellent student. I'm a student, and I work in a lab that researches tobacco hornworms. Sarah is an entomologist. No, I'm not. I'm a student. <laughs> entomologist in training. Okay. Every time we find a cool that bug, like a... we bring it to Sarah, or we call her over to look. Yeah, if we if we're ever out walking somewhere and we find an insect carcass, we immediately like collect it to take like, it to Sarah. <laughs> we bring it to her like a cat brings a couple it. times. Yeah, it's you human. Come, come back dead inside things. and be like, Sarah, I brought you something. I'm like, oh wow, what'd you bring me? And I'll be like, close your eyes and open up your hand. I'll feel this. <laughs> 
crusty dead bug. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's because we love you, Sarah. I'm really glad that you care. <laughs> and uh, David is also a student, and Elena, of course, is the professional webcomic artist behind She's the senpai. Sister Claire. <laughs> Elena, Elena draws professionally. 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 <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, Hunter asked, Ash has an office. Do you have a window? Yes, I have a gigantic window. Come yeah. throw pebbles on it if you want to talk to her. I, I have my own office with my own window, my own dart frog tank. My name is on the door. It's very, <laughs> it's very uh, nice. It's a fun office. It's filled with dart frogs. It's a cool place. Sebring says, uh, Sister Claire pays your bills? Well, yes and no. Like, it does certainly help out, and that's why we started the Patreon, to be able to focus more on the Sister Claire uh, without Elena having to take on other side projects and things. I do uh, have a full-time job that also helps support us while helping Elena write the comic, but, you know... Unless we get a lot more famous, I can't quit my job. Though, hey, if y'all suddenly want to throw thousands more dollars at us per month, uh, <laughs> be my guest, be my guest. Uh, I will totally quit my job and give up my... Patreon to the test. <laughs> yeah, I will totally quit my job, give up my office and my window, and bring my dart frogs home and write for you 24-7. But, you know, that's... I'm being a little bit realistic here, and uh, I do enjoy my job. I, I'm not... Asking to quit it. <laughs> Some days I do really wish I could stay home instead. <laughs> Snowy, who is working as a camp counselor, says sometimes their campers are like animals, so I'm like a zookeeper. Ash, is it like that for you? Well, my, uh, the people who I, like the students I deal with, are not extraordinarily young, so no. Um, most of the time they're very well behaved and delightful and I enjoy seeing them. Mm -hmm. Where's my Aussie concept art? Oh yeah, it's in this folder labeled sister because she hadn't gotten a name yet. <laughs> oh no? She was just known as Lupo's sister. sister. <laughs> yeah. I like these various versions. I haven't even shown some versions of her mm -hmm. outfit because first I designed this one and then I realized that scene was going to take place in the snow. So I was like, okay, maybe she needs to wear a few more. Uh, on more top of yeah. That. yeah. So this is like the winterized version. I of like that she still has that nice hood that Lupo also has. Mm -hmm. All the wolf witches have these. Well, they don't always wear this dweeby like wolf hood thing, but it's mm -hmm. their like ceremonial outfit that they wore when they were all meeting up. Mm -hmm. uh, Hunter says, Ozzy looks so young. That's because she is. Mm -hmm. She's only 17. She's younger than Claire. Although I think her, um, her cheek cheek bones make her look older. Yeah. yeah. That reminds me, I should probably try to make her look a little younger, actually. Mm -hmm. Ozzy's uh, the youngest of the main cast, actually. Oh, okay. yeah, she's even younger than the twins. Well, so is Claire. The twins are older than Claire. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> the twins <laughs> are not, you know, super babies. Yeah. I always think of the twins as, like, the little babies. The wee babs. Yeah. Well, Claire and the twins are always the little babies. I love both. Yeah, Ozzy, like, a quick rundown of ages. Uh, Ozzy is 17, Lupo is 19, Claire 19, the twins are both 22, Catherine is, at the time of the comic currently, 46, Oscar's 45. They like, aged well. <laughs> yeah, they aged well. But even so, I mean, they're not going to look like beef jerky or anything. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> not like Marguerite. <laughs> Marguerite kind of got the raw end of the deal. Ozzy also tends to look mature because she does, she takes her responsibility to the pack very seriously, mm -hmm. uh, especially considering she feels like, too, that she's she's got to also help take care of Lupo. Yeah. I think her design, though, also looks like an older person. Some mm -hmm. people just do mm -hmm. look older than they are. Mm -hmm. People always thought I was older than I was. 
people still think I'm older than I am. I've been asked if I... But people also think you're a college student all the time. Well, it, that, it's the book bag. <laughs> like, I always and walk the, around with the, the, sh- the, t- the tie-dye shirts and The stuff. tie-dye shirts or the shirts with holes in them. And, and your fabulous rainbow shoes. Yeah. But... Uh, Which that, you got in the kids section of Walmart. Yeah. <laughs> kids get the best shoes. Avartag asks, can you do a character page with relative ages? I thought Ozzy was older. We will um, eventually be posting a page on the Claire site with uh, character profiles, and I guess we could put ages on it. Yeah. Yeah, current yeah. ages. I was actually looking back at what I had written for those, and I think I think they're pretty good. Yeah, we do need to... Do you need to put you know, if it would be okay for all the characters to be holding tea in their profile picture, <laughs> you could just use all of these for their profile. <laughs> I think that's fine. Or you could just take screen caps. Uh, well, well, just their faces. Like, you could uh, grab, like, your favorite picture of them from various panels in the comic. Yeah, like I don't think they have to be, you know, yeah. same style, same yeah. profile. I know, but I wanna. It's there's only so much you can do, especially you're already taking on a lot more work with doing the double updates. Yeah. Make it easy on yourself, yeah. please. Oh. I just want everything to be beautiful. Everything is beautiful. It sure is. Oh, Hunter asked Ash, "Can you use a tablet to navigate a computer?" Not well. Um, Didn't I, you have one? I have a tablet. Yeah, um, at my office and. Mm. I I used it before when when I had I don't have as many problems with my hands as I used to. Writing is still hard for me, but for exercises, I and when I say writing, I mean the physical act of holding a pen or pencil, not like thinking of the inventive process. That's that part's fine. That machine isn't broken, but I have a hard time uh, holding pencils and pens. And for therapy, I would use my tablet. And there was a select amount of time each day that I had to try to use it. It was infuriating. Oh, no. <laughs> Sometimes I would drop it and then have to go fishing under my desk for it. Mm. Hmm. Snowy asks, so, if I was a wolf witch, would I be in the wolf witch religion? Like, could Claire or Catherine be in the wolf witch religion? They don't really have a religion exactly i mean i'm sure they have their own beliefs and stuff i've imagined it as more they of a have, cultural yeah it's, it's more of a culture and they do have their own philosophies and stuff but mm-hmm. it's not like they believe in different deities or yeah. something like that yeah and if you ever like if you were a character in sister claire and you weren't born a wolf witch but wanted to join a wolf witch pack you know i i don't think that would be completely out of the realm of possibility I think it would be kind of hard, though. It would be hard to find them. Um, Not only hard to find them, hard for them to trust you enough to accept you. Unless you were, like, an orphan child. They do tend to adopt very young children, but they have to be young, I think. Well, I don't think they have to be young. I think it also helps... They do, like, an older person, they'd probably find someone else. Well, it it also depends, like, if, if it was someone who was a witch who would be useful to the pack, who seemed interested, like, who made friends with someone in the pack already and didn't have a home, like, I could see them being integrated, but it is a much rarer circumstance. But I don't think they would ever be considered a wolf witch because they couldn't well, not a wolf transform witch. and they didn't grow up in that culture. Well, again, not a wolf witch, but part of the pack, sure. Mm-hmm. Wolf witches are probably the most family-oriented witches. Hunter said, not reading the missing moment, but I, I feel like it was mentioned last time I was around. Is Gabby the Selkie Gabriel? Uh, the Selkie? Well, is Gabby the Selkie, Gab- Gabrielle the Angel? Yes, you should read the missing moments. The couple most recent ones really focus on Gabby. Mm-hmm. You find out a little bit about her past, too. <clears throat> Busy Pop Jim Pop says, I'm currently working on my own little OC witch for Sister Clara. Oh. I can't wait to Exciting. see. <clears throat> <laughs> I 
avatar tag said, I will cry if Gabby doesn't name drop Catherine. Mm. Well, well, get those Kleenex. <laughs> <laughs> Elena. <God>. Sorry. <laughs> cold. That's cold. I'm just saying that would be a bit too easy, wouldn't it? Mm-hmm. Oh, you know I'm not going to let you on that easy. I got to drag your hearts around a little bit first. <laughs> <laughs> like a, a cat playing with a toy <laughs> actually the time is coming up where uh, certain paths will intersect aww yes <laughs> excitement all around Snowy asked are there cat witches and dog witches uh, well there are shards that have been purified to look like cats there probably are but I don't think that they have the kind of like, I think there are people who can turn into yeah. cats and dogs. I'm not sure that there mm. are, um, like, covens of people that do that. Yeah, like... Not the Warriors Cat series we lived in this year. No. Uh, I, think, I think the witches <clears throat> are pretty special in that regard. Mm -hmm. But there are, there are definitely other witches with transformative capabilities. I mean, we have the flock, mm -hmm. you know. I think a lot of... Well, I think there are many witches who are... No pun intended, lone wolves who have those abilities. Mm -hmm. Like, they... I, I'd like to think that if there were fish fish wish, fish wish witches, they would also stick in a little school. Yeah. Fish witches. Fish <laughs> wishes. <laughs> I tried my hardest. It's a tongue twister. K-Brand Art said, so, could a witch take on any animal form they wanted, or is it isolated to common familiar animals like wolves and birds? Transformative capabilities are really, really hard to perfect. Um, it's also something that really needs to be started when somebody is very young, usually. Yeah, yeah, usually. I'm sure there are exceptions to every rule. I doubt very much we're going to have time to cover absolutely everyone ever, you know, who... <laughs> there are also some people who used to be able to and can't anymore mm -hmm. for various reasons, usually because of psychological trauma. And then there are some witches who, despite being very powerful, their magic just doesn't work that way. Like Clementine, she was very young and could have potentially mm -hmm. learned to transform, but her magic was already going down a different path. Mm -hmm. And there are some witches, like... I shouldn't, I shouldn't even say witches. There are some magic users in Sister Claire who have a very broad scope of capabilities when it comes to using their magic. One of those people we um, you've already met, and that's Nib. Um, you'll see more of that when we go back to Throne of Mare, but like, you couldn't really pigeonhole Nib into one particular mm -hmm. area. Like, she's good at lots of things, but not she's not... Like, Clementine can do quite a lot with plants, and she can purify shards. Nib can do a lot of little things, and some of them not even quite so little, but they're not on this big epic scale either. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of witches have power like that. Another, we introduced her very briefly. Uh, Oscar, Oscar in particular would remember her. Hanabi. Hanabi does have a specialty which you you haven't seen much of yet, but she's also got some broad scope magic in there too. Not everyone has just plain elemental magic. Hunter said, Ash, I know you can kick ass. What martial art did or do you practice? I don't practice anymore, uh, but I practice Shotokan Karate. Ad makes art asked, is Mamon Rosie and Marie's mysterious benefactor? It just seems to make sense. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> no, not Mamon. She's a lot of things, but that's not what we're um, someone asks, have you seen, Avatar Tag asks, have you seen Song of the Sea? It's a cute animated movie about selfies. I really want to see it. I've I seen The Book of Kells, but I've not seen Song of the Sea. And hey, is it on Netflix? No, I checked. Hey, 
I thought it was. We can find it. I apologize. It's it's not on Netflix, but it is. Um, it's online. We can find it. Romantic Fox asks, "What percentage of people in the Sister Claire universe have magical powers?" A rough estimate. A rough estimate. Like there are more magic users than people. Well, let me let me rephrase that. Let me start over. People. There, the number of people who have excess energy that could eventually be channeled into extraneous abilities like magic uh, vastly outnumber the people who don't. Oh, and there's a mosquito. Kill it. It's right next to your hand. Oh, you got it, dude. Yeah. Dude. Death to the mosquito. Dispose of the body. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Good eye, Ash. Thank you. Good eye, David. Good hand. Nice one. Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, as I was saying, lots of people have excess energy that does often translate into magic. I thought you just put a mosquito in there. <laughs> <laughs> um, people like Oscar and Marguerite are somewhat few and far between. The, the difference between people who are able to use magic later in life and people with excess energy, a lot of people get it out when they're children. Like, in The Missing Moments, Olga mentions briefly that her... She, Olga had siblings. She had six younger brothers. Um, she mentions that they grew out of their magic, and she didn't. Many of them get rid of it. Uh, like, it, it's kind of burned off, and then that's it. Cross X Hunter asks, do the cats make you nervous when they run by your feet? Mm. Nah. Mm. Make me nervous if I, I worry I'm about to step on them because they're too stupid to look where they're going. <laughs> I think that's only a risk with Aang. Yeah. yeah. This morning I was trying to walk downstairs and he was sprawled uh, in all of his glory on the very first step with a space <sighs> like the width of my foot on the very edge of the step and I stepped there and then he reached out with a paw and, like, curled his whole leg around my ankle. And I'm like, oh. I'm about to drag you down these stairs by accident, Aang, you moron. I bet that was really cute, though. It was really cute, but it was also really dangerous. I don't know. Winkle does stuff like that a lot, too, when she gets in one of her weird <laughs> moods where she, like, runs all over the place. Earlier today, I was going to step over there to the couch, and she ran off and went right under my foot, and I almost, like, just stepped right on her. Hmm. Look at Ozzy. Ozzy's Look precious. how happy she looks. Mm -hmm. I like when she smiles. Me too. I like her sharp tooth smile. Mm -hmm. hmm. Should I have to? <laughs> Hunter asks, is it hard for you to talk and draw, Ellie? Not really. Uh, sometimes it is hard for me to use a lot of brain power while I'm talking and drawing, but... Usually I'm talking about something that I, I know. So, same. Yeah. And when I don't know what I'm talking about, I just let you answer the question. Ish, so. <laughs> Good questions, y'all. Good questions. Can't get sleepy yet. I'm not sleepy. Okay. Cross X Hunter asks, is there central plumbing in the Sister Claire world? This is addressed in uh, chapter one, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and like the very, very first, first few pages. Central plumbing features heavily in the the start of the story. <laughs> Someone says there's a tiny, tiny line above Ozzy's head. Do they mean the blue line? 
case. Yeah, I, I'll fix it. No, I, no I, they I, mean this right there. Yeah, I know. Uh, oh, I know. oh, yeah, I didn't see. I'll that. fix it. Ozzy's looking very orange. I know. I'm gonna fix it. <laughs> she looks sunburned from my angle. Oh yeah, I yeah, see it. it's red from here. From here, it's like bright Barbie doll orange. Huh? She used some tanner. <laughs> That reminds me of a time. Um, my my grandmother on my dad's side has a, a place at the beach. And when I say she has a place at the beach, people automatically assume that it's this glorious beachfront house. Like ritzy beach house with all the cute little prints on the wall of like people in bathing suits and tacky umbrellas with their feet in the sand. And, like, yeah. She has little creepy beach clowns things. in her beach. <laughs> yeah, and it's, it's, not, it's not beachfront. It is a... Double wide trailer, a couple miles from the beach, which is totally fine and lovely. Um, it, well, it would be lovely if she wouldn't fill it with creepy foil pictures of clowns. Yeah, <laughs> it's like <laughs> why do you do this, Mimo? <laughs> no. Um, <clears throat> but in any case, uh, I went there. I don't want to say like super often when I was a kid, but often enough that I had some decent memories there, and. Mima has had this place since before I was born, and it is full of various, like, ancient things that, you know, old people tend to accumulate, like aspirin that expired in 1991, and, yeah. And there's a bunch of beauty products on her bureau in her bedroom there that I, they're, they're older than me. They must be, <laughs> like, stuff. Oh, dust and crusty, I'm sure. Yeah, it's, it's pretty nasty, but... Under one of the tables once, like, next to the couch, I found a bottle of what I thought was sunscreen. And it turns out that I didn't know the difference at the tender age of 10 between no. sunscreen and suntan lotion. No. <laughs> and I slathered myself with suntan lotion and then became orange over the course of a day. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> Did you get burned? I didn't get burned, but I'm I, I got very orange. I, I looked like... A, Unpleasantly orange. I, I looked like some alien species. It was pretty bad. <sighs> yeah. Hi, cephalopod queen. No. no. Hello. Hello. How do you know? Ozzy is so cute. Hi, I'm really adorable. That's why I'm extra today. Oh, don't forget the steam oven. I won't. I'm not done yet. Okay. That's at the end. Okay. Karen Skittleview asks if you turned Clementine orange when you used that suntan. Yep. I was pretty frickin' orange. <laughs> Cephalopod Queen asks, did I miss anything important? Yeah, everything. Jeez, every moment is important. Sometimes you gotta accept that the world moves on without you. <sighs> Every moment that you don't spend with us is a moment that you don't get to spend in the company of glory. Just saying. You know, <laughs> there are other moments. It's not the worst thing, but geez, you're missing out. <clears throat> oh. Mm. <laughs> What was that? <laughs> just experiencing my... some glory, choking on the glory. <laughs> I just clocked myself in the in the mouth with a glass water bottle. Oh. <laughs> it hit my teeth. Oh. Ow. Wow. Hmm. <clears throat> Fizzy pop, gym pop. Hopes we aren't firing off fireworks to scare our pets. I haven't heard a single firework tonight. No. Yeah. Around here, we probably won't. I can't imagine we would. Yeah. I would like to maybe get some sparklers for tomorrow. Though. Those are nice. They mm -hmm. don't make they don't make any noise really, but they're pretty. Mm -hmm. That's what she said.
Ah, Snowy says, I'm getting a new dog and I'm going to name her Rosalie. Aww. <laughs> See. Because she's a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> it's like Casper. <laughs> Carrigan. Eleanor, are you recording? Yeah. Okay. Let me start with you. Okay. Cross X Hunter asks, Ellen and David, color or color? With or without the U? Uh, we're American, so we spell it without the U. Though, when I was in the UK, I spelled it with the U just so that my teacher would stop marking me down for misspelling things. Yeah, I'm, I'm used to writing it with the U. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. But I don't think of it with a U. I mean, it's not color. 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 It's not scone. Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. Like, why put an E at the end of it if you're going to say scone? I guess the word Spell gone. Spell with an A-W. <laughs> I guess G-O-N-E is also pronounced that way. It's just English is... I was thinking, like... English is fundamentally broken. What happened to your scone? Or, like, what happened to it? Yeah, I ate it, man. <laughs> scone. Scone. <laughs> scone. Uh -huh, like s'mores are a joke name. Yeah. I don't know about this. I, I know kinda, about you. I kind of like the color of her skin tone, but I'm trying to separate it from the red of this. And no, it just looks gray. Maybe I should just make that. I think it's fine to just have it one color. For yeah. Jackson, you just have like the one or two yeah. flat tones, right? Yeah, but on, on this, I think it's, I feel like it blends too much. Well, I think it's pretty clear what's her skin and what's her clothing. Okay. Right. In that case, I declare this finished. Oh wait, no, I need to. Oh, I also have two of the same. You know what you forgot? The scene. Sorry, did I steal your thunder? Did I steal your steam? Not much <laughs> I see. Steam is free, you can just download it again. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Maybe you can answer this question, Elena. Benicula asked, are there any plans to do a fandom sampler pack, or is that Adagio's decision? That's Adagio's decision. I did ask them about it. Um, I would love to do a sampler pack, but it's not up to me. Mm -hmm. um, the Sister Claire Tees would have to be extremely popular for them to make a sampler pack. You heard it, folks. Go buy the Sister Go Claire Go buy the tea. Tea. <laughs> I just got, I haven't made a post about it yet, but I just got the uh, Mamo and Magpie and Jackson Tees, and I really like all of them. They I all actually, smell so I, I haven't tried the Mamo one yet. I want mm -hmm. to try it soon. Um, I have tried the Magpie and Jackson ones, though, and I really like them. The Magpie Tea smells like my favorite product from Lush. Um, it's a body bar, but it smells really good. <laughs> Well, what's your favorite? Like how it should... smells. It's called You Snap the Whip. It's a charcoal and black currant um, body scrub, and it smells really amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we got the steam. Yeah, it's all done. How about yeah, I you do... Don't, you didn't have the solid background. <gasps> You're right. 
Look at that kind of things. I'm forgetting everything. Oh my god, it's right here. Not offended. I'll do the Catherine one after this. Yay! Um, what should I draw Catherine wearing? Oh. Um, Does anyone in the chat have a suggestion for what Catherine should wear in the uh, her tea tin? I haven't drawn anyone wearing a nun habit yet, so I don't really want to do that. Plus, I don't really think it, it's, it's not something that embodies Catherine, no. Mm -hmm. Like, when I think of her, I don't think of her wearing a nun habit. <sighs> and I don't want to draw her as a kid, because I didn't draw her. Um, well, do you have a reference kid. sheet with her all of her outfits? I don't have one with all of them. I have one... Of her mo like her current outfit, but I specifically designed that outfit to be boring and kind of drab. So I don't know if I wanted. You could put her in like a yellow dress. Yeah, yeah, that seems to be. That'd be sweet. That's what you tend to draw her in when she's happy. Mm -hmm. It won't show as yellow in the picture, but mm -hmm. I'm probably gonna draw it in her like wine color. But I can do that. Okay, so mm -hmm. Ozzy is done. She looks really good, baby boy. I like how she came out. I really like drawing Ozzy. She's really cute. Ozzy is a lot easier for me to draw than Lupo. I don't hmm. know why. The Lupo tea did come out looking great. Though. It did. Yeah, I'm glad. It's very Lupo. Yeah, he's like... He's <laughs> just... his three walls from the main cup. Yeah. <laughs> the Lupo tea is really good, by the way. It's a really good bedtime tea because it has chamomile and mint, which are good for putting you to sleep and helping you digest after eating dinner. And it's decaf, so... Goodbye, Ozzy. Oh, I should probably stop Still this recording. Record. Yeah. Okay. So if you're watching this on YouTube, check out the next video to see the rest of this live stream.